Hello and welcome. In today's tutorial, we have a log equation in which the unknown x is in the base. Obviously, the first step to solving this equation would be to change the base. But then the question becomes, what base do we change to? Now, when you look at this number, this is number 4, 2 squared. And this is number 8, 2 cubed. So it would be best for us to change to base 2. So what we are going to do now is to change this from base 3x to base 2 and to change this from base 2x to base 2 using the change of base formula and this is how we do it. We have log to base 2 that is the new base of the number 4 divided by log to base 2 of the old base 3x and this is equal to log to base 2 of the number 8 divided by log to base 2 of the old base 2x. The next step to solving this equation will be to cross multiply. So we have that log to base 2 of 4 multiplied by log to base 2 of 2x is equal to log to base 2 of 8 multiplied by log to base 2 of 3x. But let us remember that 4 is 2 squared and 8 is 2 cubed. So we have that log to base 2 of 2 squared multiplied by log to base 2 of 2x is equal to log to base 2 of 2 cubed multiplied by log to base 2 of 3x. Now looking at this, let us recall the power law of logarithms which states that log m raised to power n is equal to n multiplied by log m. So with this in mind, we have that we can bring these two down to multiply and that gives us 2 times log to base 2 of 2 multiplied by log to base 2 of 2x is equal to 3 times log to base 2 of 2 multiplied by log to base 2 of 3x. But then we know that log to base 2 of 2 is 1. Log to base 2 of 2 is 1. So we have 2 times log to base 2 of 2x. That is 2 times log to base 2 of 2x is equal to 3 times log to base 2 of 3x. 3 times log to base 2 of 3x. Now, once more, let us look at the power law. We have 2 times log to base 2 of 2x. It is written in this form. So, of course, we know that we can write it in this form. And doing that, it becomes log to base 2 of 2x, 2 goes up, squared, is equal to log to base 2 of 3x, 3 goes up, cubed. Now, when we look at these two things, their logarithms are the same. So that simply means that 2x squared is equal to 3x cubed. From this, we have 4x squared is equal to 27x cubed. Now from here, Bringing all the terms over to the left hand side, we have that 4x squared minus 27x cubed is equal to 0. We can factorize x squared out to give us 4 minus 27x is equal to 0. Now we have a product that is equal to 0. So it simply means that either x squared is equal to 0 or 4 minus 27x is equal to 0. This is a trivial solution. So from here we have that 4 is equal to 27x and dividing both sides by 27 we have that x is equal to 4 over 27 and that is the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation. With that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something. Remember to share, 
like and subscribe if you enjoy such content. See you in the next one.